Hi everyone, welcome to week seven of the APA. I am Mounte, and today uh, we're taking on T. Rowe Price and the Columbus Cobra Lions. Distinct lack of Cobra Lion on his team, but we'll let it slide, I guess. Um, so, yeah, he's got Tapu Lele, I have Tapu Coco, and Thwacky. Bit of a terrain war in store for you guys. JK, I brought neither of them. Um, yeah, I, uh, this is my third game with Tapu Coco since I've had him ever. And game one was Alolan Marowak. And, uh, game two I had to face Snorlax and Stunfisk. Game three I have to face Ferrothorn and Nidoking. These are not mons that Coco can hurt at all. Um, and I don't know if I'm just getting bad luck or just like if it's normal for every team to have like a really good Tapu Koko answer. Uh, but it's, you know what, it's pretty lame. I'm not gonna lie guys, it's pretty lame. So, I'm um, not even bringing him this week. Um, but I really wanna use Halucha this week. In fact, my whole game plan is about sweeping with Halucha, the whole thing. So, I played around with Koko for a bit he was mostly dead weight, uh, other than the terrain, of course. Um, and I tried Thwacky instead, and uh, it didn't really work. It didn't really work. So instead of Thwacky and Coco, I slotted Mamoswine onto the team. Mamoswine. And uh, the team's a lot better for it. And I've decided to use Psychic Seed on Halucha and just try and take advantage of his terrain to sweep in the end. And this is very risky. This is a, uh, um, I don't know if this is the best way I could have built this team, but I did have an easier time after I made these changes. Um, the thing is, it's out of my control. The, the psychic terrain, right? When when he brings in Lele, I can sort of influence that, and when he swaps him out, I can kind of influence that too. But um, it's out of my control, and I can't really, even with the spadef boost, which is better in this game than the defense boost that like grassy or electric terrain would provide, which is part of the reason I went with this strategy, which can see a lot of special attackers, but. Um, yeah, I can't. I still can't set up on Lele even with a plus one spadef. So, uh, <laughs> so what's the plan then? You might be asking. Uh, well, first mod is Azelf. This is just a, I mean, four really three attack plus U turn set. Um, Psychic's good against him. Let's bring Sneasel. Um, Flamethrower for Pharaoh, Thunderbolt for Vaporeon, U turn. Not much to say there. Good for revenge killing Nido King and, and and threatening Ferrothorn. Uh, Mamoswine, Focus Sash lead. Just pretty much been max HP just due to the speed tiers we had. Um, I didn't really. The Mons lower or slower than Mamo are defensive, so I didn't need to do any speed investment really for Mamo. Um, yeah, just gonna leave this set of rocks, go from there, because I need a little bit of chip on certain mods. Well, Halucha can sweep if um, I can land a Stone Edge on Zapdos, unless it's like very defensive, then it will live a Stone Edge. But with the Spadef boost, I can live a Hurricane after rocks. I put enough Spadef into Halucha for that. It can Oko Neo King with Acrobatics. It can Oko Tepu Lele with Acrobatics. This is at plus two, I'm saying. Oko's Ferrothorn if he's not Choppel. Uh, and then Vaporeon if he's max defense, you know, I need him at around like 70 or 75. Oko's Noi Burn as well. Um, point being, 
I need a little bit of chip on a few guys so that I don't need to Swords Dance necessarily. Um, a raw acro can kill at a pretty large percent for a few of these guys. Uh, yeah, so anyway, Stealth Rock's good. <laughs> Especially if Zapos isn't boots. If Zapos isn't boots, then, uh, then I'm good. Um, but anyway, I have Choice Scarf, Infiltrator, uh, Ghost Face with Memento. This is one of my methods of getting um, Halucha in safely. Uh, oops, it went. Uh oh. Was that my controller? I don't think I pressed it there. Okay, we're gonna see. Um, I was shaking it around a little bit, so. Maybe that's why. Um, Ghost Face, though, yes, Memento. He, okay, here's the ideal scenario, right? He understands that I am Scarf. It has been proven that I am Scarf. I come in. And I'm at speeding a non-scarf Lele. If Lele scarf, it's hard to threaten it out. But oh, oh no, that's not good. Oh, guys, this is really unfortunate. I'm gonna have to pause and get a new controller. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, did not change controllers because the one I'm gonna use is charging right now, so might have some crazy wacky controller issues during the rest of this part of the video. But anyway, that's Ghostface, yes, Memento, to help get in this guy. This is the end game mon. Uh, honestly, this mon, like I said, can sweep. Uh, if I get to plus two and I land a Stone Edge on Zapdos. Unless Zapdos is quite defensive, then it can live a hit um, but I can survive an uninvested hurricane with, like, after stealth rock damage. Most of the time. <laughs> There's like a 20% chance it kills or something. It's the best I could do. Uh, Gastrodon, another Memento Mon. Um, yeah, the ideal scenario is I'm like, well, I'm like super spadef Gastro, so hopefully he, like, sees that at some point and then. I bring Gaster in on Lele. Lele swaps out. Assuming it's locked into something that I don't know. Hopefully, like locked into Thunderbolt could be cool. And then I Memento as he swaps Halusha. Uh, lastly, Corvic Knight um, with Wakan Berry. This is my Lele switch in. Takes everything super well. At least uh, takes one Thunderbolt pretty well. Um, and the follow-up as well, unless it's Specs. I don't think I can take two Specs Thunderbolts, but I mean, I can swap accordingly if it's Specs. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this team. You know, I don't really need Defog because I want to keep my rocks up. So, I wonder if Body Press is better, just so I can hurt Ferrothorn a little more. Hmm. I guess if he gets like three layers of spikes, I might want to defog. Oh, I'll leave it. Otherwise, <laughs> I just have to. That's uh, a pain in the ass at this point <laughs> to regen this mod. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the team. Stay tuned. Hopefully, my controllers are being cool. Okay, we're in the game. EA Sports. Let's see who we brought. Entei, instead of Neuvern, okay. Hmm, that makes sweeping a little harder with Halucha due to extreme speed. And now I wish I was Flash Fire instead of Infiltrator. Damn, but that makes Azelf look a lot better because the only thing that's speeding me is potentially a Scarf Lele. Okay. Um, mm, I don't have much to switch into like Banded Entei though. Uh, I'll still go Mimosa. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Entei. I did a little bit of prep versus Entei. Uh, Played against Sally Mumble and he brought it against me, but my team was 
quite a bit different than it is right now. Well, not quite a bit, but a little bit. Hmm. Sucks, though. I'm gonna have to kill Entei or take very little damage with uh, Palucha before I can sweep. Because Palucha is flying, so he can still extreme speed me even with Psychic Terrain up. Speed. <clears throat> e speed does 56 to 67. Uh, Alright. It's a good lead for me. Um, I don't think you'd like to stay in. I wonder what he was expecting. We'll get the rocks! Oh yeah, my uh, health bar. Yeah, what's your mana switch? Ferrothorn, maybe? The thing is, I don't have a great uh, Ferrothorn switch in. Yeah. I got my rocks. I might just go for a little damage as he, uh... Because he could knock. So I don't have a great way to just swap in. Uh, Ice Skull Crash does almost as much, and I have a flinch chance, so I'll go for that, even though I could miss. Okay. That did 30-some. That's, yeah, that's like a high roll, unless he's mixed defenses, and he's lefties, okay. Good to know he's not choppable. <clears throat> What do you go for knock here? I don't know if you do that. I don't know. This is this is tough. I don't have great switch ins to Ferrothorn. I might regret this immediately, honestly. Um Ow! It stepped right out onto okay. spikes! Two spikes, that kinda sucks. Okay. Um, now we probably see if Vaporeon... I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. I assume Vaporeon comes in. Or even Nante, I guess. This Mon's good against me. I don't think he switches it out. Gastrodon does really well against him otherwise. And I could even Trick. He doesn't, probably doesn't want that. I don't know who you go to though. Probably Vaporeon. <clears throat> Two layers of spike sucks. But I feel like the chip was necessary. Um, I think that tells me it was max, basically max defense and not Chopper. So that's really good to know. Okay, this should get to a KO. If this thing goes down, uh, maybe not to a KO. Oh, he's, he's spit death. Really? Do you not care about Halucha? I'm not surprised. Um, I mean, I can take a hit. I'll just go for it again. Because I don't know. He might just go for Toxic, because I have a couple switch-ins. A couple ground types, that is. So I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. But I think he, I think that's pretty spadef. He's boots as well. Noteworthy. So. He actually might be slow. For it to do that little? Maybe. Let's see what he does here. That's amazing. Spadef drop. Bruce, okay. Um, I just do it again. So now he probably knows I'm Scarf, which is good. I want him to know that, so that I can 
uh, threaten Lele if Lele is not scarfed. Hmm. Why is he spadef? Hacker comes in, Vaporeon, take some rocks. Maybe this is the Halucha answer? I need chip on this. Oh, that's pretty. Damn, this team is bulky. I think that's, um... Is that... Maybe that's like mixed defenses. Uh, yeah. Uh, I showed I'm willing to stay in already. So, do I just go Gastro now? Skull does so much to me. Um, uh, this is a tough one. I don't really mind being toxic on Gastro, because he's going to memento eventually. And then, alright, yeah, I'll just do that. I, I, I want to stay in on a, like a Toxic or a Wish, I'm just trying to 3 a KO, but I've already kind of been risky about it. Yeah, fuck. Should have gone for it. So I can go for my own Toxic here. Hmm, does he just want a Wish? I'll just Toxic. If Pharaoh comes in, so be it. We'll go from there. I'll probably just Scald, honestly. Because I doubt he goes for Power Whip. <clears throat> okay. This is, I think, Pharaoh. Yeah. Okay. He gets that call right. Yeah, I don't know why you'd stay in, so that maybe that. Maybe going for Toxic there was a bit uh, desperate. <laughs> He might just knock right here. Unless he values the third layer of spikes. He could knock, he could go for... Um, leech seed as well. Is it worth... Uh, hmm. Man, this boss is so annoying. Um... I don't want to lose my Wakan. I'll Scald once. Uh, I'll Scald. And then... I'll just swap the next turn here. Uh, okay, yeah. See, I didn't want to go straight to... Uh, Chandelure there. I don't know if you do... I don't know if you do that again. Fuck, Gastron is so hurt now. That's actually really bad. Huh. What if I try to set up now? <laughs> Go for the end game immediately? Because eventually Lele is going to have to switch in, and that'll trigger my plus two. So if you scarf Lele, it doesn't matter. No, there's an idea. Is that insane? I don't know. This is a fun team for fun people, you know? Let's do it. Another Scald would have been cool. But... I might have died to Poison plus his attack, so... <laughs> this was not in... Uh, this was not part of my game plan. So, okay, he's minus two. I go Lucha. If he's T-Wave, actually, I've made a huge mistake. But he doesn't see terrain on my side, so he probably doesn't suspect the uh, Psychic Seed, I would hope. He's gonna SD, Zapdos is almost dead, Vaporeon's low. Conditions are in place, honestly. 
I already have to be, unless he's like Scarf, Nino King or Scarf. Uh, fucking Ente. See what he goes for. Leech Seed would suck. Oh, he's Thunder Wave. No! <laughs> he's Thunder Wave. Well, GG. <laughs> this game's over, I think. My whole team was built around facilitating Paulucha. Um, so, that's not good. Now, he could go hard. Uh, I'm just going to Stone Edge. We're going to try and catch Zapdos here. At this point, I might as well, right? Because Zapdos should at speed me if I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Fight through the paralysis and land a Stone Edge. Oh! Oh no! Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in! Fuck, dude. And without the plus one spadef, I'm pretty boned, honestly. This is actually really bad. If he wasn't Thunder Wave, I considered that like after I made the decision to, to Memento. It's on me. Um. Yeah. I think Zapdos KOs without my spit death boost, right? Oh yeah. Well... Am I, am I gonna get a better chance? Probably not. He would need to, uh... Oh, if he's Thunderbolt, he kills me. What, what choice do I have? He's either land a hurricane or not be discharged. Oh, okay. Give me Lele and don't be scarfed. Then that's my only chance. Because if you're not scarf Lele, then I still outspeed your whole team. And that Stone Edge miss was rough. Because who do you go to revenge kill me? Probably Lele, right? And then all of a sudden I'm faster, unless you're scarfed. Yeah, and I don't even have my- Fuck! Oh no! That's so brutal. Uh, um... Oops! Wow. My uh, keyboard pressed the button for me. Okay. It's in God's hands, baby. He's, he's making the moves for me. Damn, this one. So south. It could have went so north. So north, guys. <sighs> okay, how do I win now? I mean, he can T-bolt here, or Corvic Knight. Do I just, uh, okay. I think I just U-turn into Azal. Who doesn't care about spikes either? Paralyzed Halucha. I mean, there's still a chance. I still have another memento. There's still a chance. Um, all right. I mean, he might pop my Wakan here. That's okay. I'm gonna. Uh, As Elf actually can can do this. I just need some big time chip on Lele, and also for it not to be Scarf. And I need uh, you know Entei to not have extreme speed. Cause why would you have oh, another cr uh, not another crit, but another unfortunate thing to happen. Third in a row. Fuck. That sucks. Okay, we're going as elf. Who doesn't care about the rocks? Ooh, you know, if I uh, defog, then Mamo Sash is still intact, so that's something to think about. Yeah, I still have, I still have outs. I still have ways to win. Chandelure is looking good again, if Lele's not scarfed. <laughs> talking about this a lot. Uh, sorry, who do you have? Yeah. Psychic for sure. No need to predict. Um, because I have a follow up hit for Vaporeon or Ferrothorn. Unless he goes hard Lele, which would be smart, and maybe I should have U turned for that reason. Unless he goes. Oh! Is he spit deaf? Oh. Okay. Well, I can uh, T bolt this. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, crit back, okay. Well, that's good, because now he doesn't know if I'm choice or not. I'll take that. He doesn't know... Yeah. I mean, I could just psychic again. Wouldn't have had to reveal T-Bolt. Um... Zabdos... Uh... Yeah, I should. I should be able to 2-KO if he's at, like... What is he at? Like, 76 or something? Right? Is that it? Yeah, it's a 2 KO. I'll go for it. I'm going for it. I need this thing dead, I guess? Or do I need Azov's health more? Oh. Okay. Shit. I think that puts me in E speed range. Another crit? Ref. What are you doing, Ref? Keep your eyes on the game. Ref is blind tonight, boys. <sighs> I mean, I have a pretty good switch in in motherfucking Chandelier. If he goes Ante, he's probably seeing if T Bolt finishes me off here. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't go. To this unless you were a scarf, I think, because I could have Shadow Ball. And uh, it looks like... Yeah, T-Bolt finishes me off thanks to that crit, which is really annoying. Uh, do I just sack Randy Savage, unfortunately? Because this thing's Scarf, so it's kind of useless to me now, I think. The fucking ace of my team is completely useless to me now, unfortunately. Yeah, let's see. I think he's going to be Scarf. And if he is, then I'll go Mammo. <sighs> He'll at least get to see the, uh, the tech. And hey, I should live it if he goes T-Bolt. And then I'll see if he's Scarf for sure. I move last, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's fucking do this, baby. Um, yeah, I mean, Pharaoh would knock me out here. So what do I do? I go CC, which would do nothing to Lele. I think I go acro on the chance that he's. No, that couldn't be specs, right? Yeah, he's he's confirmed scar. Okay. Then I go to. Um... Hmm. Wow, this is gonna be tough now. Now, it's been tough the whole time, but uh, I really gotta save Corv. A mirror armor to get some special attack drops if need be. Um. I could U-turn, but I could get paired or take Iron Barbs. So I think I'm just gonna go to, uh, I'm just gonna go hard to Ghost Face. Cause you go either, hmm. Or do I go as Elf? I'll go as of case for some reason he goes Nino King. Alright, yeah. I have the fire move for this. I have it speed uh, everything but Lele. This game's not over. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone for game immediately. That's on me. <laughs> It just, it, it seemed like the right time. If he wasn't Thunder Wave, and if I didn't miss the, no, missing the uh, Stone Edge in the long run didn't really matter, but.
Oh, flamethrower. He maybe goes Entei, which would actually be really terrible. Because he could just E-speed to finish me off. So I should have thought about that. But he's got all of his spikes up. He might be like, alright, I'm done with Pharaoh. Gastrodon's dead. Let's see if he overplays. You know, go for a knockoff. Right? Just go for knock, baby. Just go for it. You're gonna wanna go for that knockoff, baby. You wanna go for that. Oh, he wants that knockoff. Because can. Uh... Ah, fuck. <laughs> okay, 2 KO. Ante with Psychic. Again, though. No. The, um. Stream speed stuff, guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Okay, killing Zapdos is cool, sure. Cool. Fan of that. Saving some diff, honestly. I'm not feeling good about this game anymore. Uh, but I'll take any kill I can. Because how do I navigate around Lele? I need Corviknight to be... never taking a Thunderbolt. I mean, it's not impossible. I have to, have to get, like, ballsy with my... Mammoth Swine swap ins, I think. Okay, he does this again. Takes a little more chip. It's absolutely scarf. Now... I can definitely, um... You're not too Hikeo and Korv with, with, um... Hmm. Moonblast. And Psychic actually probably kills me. Fuck. He probably just goes for Psychic here, right? Oh my god. This mod is so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna go for the super ballsy play. I'm in a losing position, I'm just gonna go for what might be a small chance getting momentum, which is praying that he goes for a Thunderbolt. I'm going to Mamoswine. Okay. I am the goat. <laughs> okay. Um, earthquake. Right? Earthquake. Can I 2k with Pharaoh? Ooh, I don't know if I can. But... <clears throat> I can maybe go for a flinch. Did a lot. And do you can knock me out? Uh, gyro ball can do it for sure. Um. Is this my chance to heal up Korv? Does he go for Leech Seed? I'm going Korv. Because I don't want to risk it all on a 30% chance to flinch. Which I might miss that move anyway. He goes Power Whip. Oh, he had it. Okay. So, Knock Off, Power Whip, Spikes, Leech. Do I defog? What range do I need Lele at? Who can kill Lele? That's the real fucking question here. I don't know how to kill Lele. I need to come in on Moonblast with Ghost Phase, basically. So I don't really need my Roths up anymore. Where do you go? Beardy? Oh, oh yeah, duh. Oh yeah, rocks are nice for this guy. Okay. But now is he in Azelf range? Probably not. No, no, no. How how free is that fire move? 
running out of time. Um, I've got, I've got Ghostface in the back here. Man, I don't know. Do you go for a ground move against Korv? I think he makes a play, or tries to. I'm gonna... I'm running out of time. Oh, there's so many 50-50s here. Oh, shit. I should've... Oh! I'm, uh, Infiltrator. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um... Okay, I'm going hard, um... Ghost face. And then Shadow Ball takes it out. <laughs> okay. Somehow I'm making the right reads here. Like, kind of. I'm not, uh, yeah. Sacred Fire will hit me, but now he should now I'm Infiltrator. And so now, he's gonna die. He can't extreme speed me. I'm running out of time. But then Lele, guys. Um. Lele to... I need to think fast. Honestly, Lele has a very hard time to KOing Korv. So I could swap it in to Scout for T-Bolt, and then... Um, and then go Heart Mammo if he, if he did do it. Oh! I lost my... <laughs> oh, we're back! Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm just gonna go, um... Hardcore. You can T-Bolt. Last time I got you, though. So you might be a little scared. I'm actually winning now. I didn't think this team would pull through without Halucha, but it's looking decent. Nido King, I don't know where, where you're at. You might be at full, uh, other than like some rocks chip, which is bad. Azelf can kill him. Chandelure needs him to be at like 70%, 73. Sidetrack, sick. Okay. Um, uh, do I just Brave Burn? Do I U-turn? Oh, he's running out of time. I could have Iron Head. I'm gonna Brave Burn. He could go with the thing. I'm running out of time. Because if he side shocks, then I just, uh, I'll U-turn and then I'll come, I'll bring him back in if he stays in. Okay, thank God. <laughs> We're doing it. We're running out of time, but we're doing it. Uh, we're gonna go to, what do you think? The fire type. We're going to the fire type. This has been a good game. Yeah, you get some of those barbs on me, that's okay. That's okay. I gotta keep Mammo alive for T-Bolts. I gotta got go no time. Let's get that straight. But I should get a kill here. Uh, let, although... Lele can probably survive a fucking fire move. But can this guy survive a Shadow Ball? I, yeah, he actually probably can. Okay, I go for the Fire Move. I don't have time to predict. Because I could go Shadow Ball here and then you lose. If he goes hard Lele. Yeah, I didn't think you would do that. Both running out of time. This is a good game. You can just feel the excitement of the crowd here in um, Pokemon Stadium. At this point, maybe I sack this mod. Can I take a Moonblast from where I'm at? Would you ever go for that again? Uh, yeah, I take that. Um, again, I go Corv. If he goes T-Bolt, I go Hard Mammo. And then I just Earthquake. I think I have the pieces to win here. I just gotta trap Lele into one move in the end. And I have to make sure that it's... Um, I think I'm just gonna Roost. Yeah, I just roost here. I need Korv at a reasonable amount of health, so I can't get too a KO'd. 
Yeah, okay, sick. Um, I'll roost, and then I think I'll just like, maybe I'll just rave bird? Maybe I'll roost again? Oh, terrain's gone. Then I'll U-turn. Because I'm pretty sure without terrain... Yes, 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 yes. We're making it happen, baby. Without much time, but we're making it happen. Yeah, without terrain, I don't think he kills uh, as elf. is what I was trying to say. So maybe I should have just gone, uh, fuck. He could swap in, but then a Brave Bird should knock him out. And then... Yeah, I still have the pieces. I just need to play fast. Running out of time. This should maybe put him in Brave Bird range? God, he's almost out of time. So am I. <laughs> but he has less than me. He could T-Bolt, that's fine. I go Mammo, and then that's game. Yeah. Unless he doubles here. I'll Brave Bird, because he doubles. <laughs> ah, okay. That's okay. I think. Uh-oh. I don't think he has enough time to win now. But that might have actually been a fuck-up if we had more time. Right? No. Because Corv is almost dead anyway. He would have died to anything. We're almost out of time! He withdraws. I kill this. Okay, it's going to be a 3-0. How would this have played out? He would have had like two more turns of terrain. I could have, um. It depends what he would have locked into. Yeah, I don't think he could, I don't think he could have won. I think he'd have to lock into like Moon Blast. No, he would have had to lock into a psychic move. And then I would just preserve as elf. Ooh, I don't know. This would be interesting. Okay, he times out, right? Okay, game. I mean, that was... That was a fun one. That was an interesting game. That's a, technically a 3-0. I wonder what he would've went for. Psychic move... It depends how many turns of terrain he had left. Because without terrain... I don't think... Psychic move could've killed Azelf. No. Right? What about Psyshock? Um, but if you went for Moonblast and I swapped in, no, I would have just sacked Mammal there to see what he went for. Yeah. And then I think I could have pulled it out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's a 3-0 win. I go up to 5-2. and two. That was a super intense game. Lots of fun. Um, hats off to t -Row. He's really good. He won like a big, uh title recently. I was checking out a bunch of his games in preparation for this. He's a good player. Um, and uh, next week, big match against Matt O'Shea. We played each other in CGT a couple times. Um, I had a good matchup in that league. This time around, who knows who has the better matchup. So, uh, should be fun to battle him again. And uh, thanks for watching.